Welcome to day number eight of my over 50s 31 day weight loss challenge. My name is Anthony and welcome to 4x4 Circuits. Welcome to the workout. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day so far. So today's workout session is going to be a 20 minute standing abs and balance workout. All the exercises are going to be easy to follow and there's no equipment needed. With that said, let's head straight into the workout with a warm up, with a march in three, two, one, let's go. Let's lift those knees, get those arms pumping through and let's keep that core nice and strong. So how today's workout is going to work? Well, we've got 10 exercises to two reps. We will spend 40 seconds on each exercise, followed by a 20 seconds rest. Within that 20 seconds rest period, I will demonstrate the next exercise. And at the end of the workout, we'll do a full body cool down stretch standard. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this body nice and loose and warm by increasing the pace of this march in three, two, one, let's go. Shoulders back, chest out, pump these arms through. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, super job. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna head over to step jacks. Just five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Step out to the side, nice and slow and controlled. This arms come up parallel to the ground. Keep a nice strong core, keep that posture nice and upright. Gonna keep the breathing under control. Looking good. Treading out nice and slowly. Excellent stuff. Okay, in five seconds time, we're gonna come back to march. We're gonna throw some light punches out in front of us. Just five, four, three, two, one. Back to march, lift the knees, or light punches come out with front. Gonna keep those arms at chest level. Keep those punches nice and soft as we protect those elbow joints. Looking good, well done. Excellent, let's take it down to the ground. Super job. Keep that core nice and strong. Looking good. Let's push it out to the sides. Keep that marching going. That's it. Well done. Nice and soft with those punches. Excellent. Up above. Where we go. Super job. We're going to push for it one more time. So let's push those punches out in front of us. Lovely. Good stuff. Keep that breathing. Nice and slow. There we go. Good. Down to the ground we go. Fantastic. Lovely job. Push it out to the sides. Strong core posture, nice and upright. Finish off, up above, hold it down to five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let's take the feet just over shoulder width apart. Bring the arms up to chest level, interlocking the fingers. Suck the tummy in, keep the core nice and strong. And we're gonna slowly rotate side to side or one continuous movement. Activating those oblique muscles, face towards we rotate it. So take it nice and slow. Good job, well done. Super work. Okay, let's extend the arm through, pushing through that rotation. Straight, reaching out to the side. That's it, nice and slow and controlled again. Nothing is rushed. Let's go up nice and high, open up those lat muscles. That's it, good job. Fantastic, bring it back to the middle in four, three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. Next, we're gonna warm up the hips. So what we're gonna do, Keep the core nice and strong, tummy sucked in. Lift the knee, take it out to the side, slowly down, change over to the other side. Must do it nice and slow, focus on the balance, looking good. And if you can't get the knee all the way up, that's fine. You can do it nice and low, but still, core nice and strong, lift the knee slightly, out to the side, and back down. That's it, good job, well done. Fantastic, good stuff. Okay, let's finish off one more each side. Nicely done, last one. Excellent work, perfect. Now we're gonna finish off the warm up with some arm circles. We're gonna go up nice and high, and we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna get those shoulders nice and warm. Love the job. Take your time, perfect. Let's change directions, bring it up and over. Nice and slow and controlled. Super job, four, three, two, one, excellent work. Grab yourself a drink of water, I'm gonna demonstrate the first exercise, and we're gonna head straight into the workout. So the first exercise we've got is a knee raise to arm circles. So again, we're gonna focus on the core, tummy sucked in, we're gonna lift the knee to that position there. So the arms out, hold that position, do arm circles. Make it harder, 
You can do bigger arm circles just like that. You can change it up as well. You can bring them up and over. It's entirely up to you. If, if you want to make this easier, if you can't get the knee all the way up, again, same position. Core is nice and strong. Lift the foot off the ground slightly. Do some arm circles like that. Okay, let's get ready to go. I'm going to stop the timer. We're off in 10 seconds. So everything with this workout is nicer and slow in control. Working core and balance. Let's get ready off in three, two, one. Let's go. Good stuff. So we're going to keep that posture nice and upright. Shoulders back, chest down. Good stuff. You want to challenge the balance, do bigger arm circles. Good, there we go. If you want to make it easier, you can bring the foot down. Just like that, good stuff. I'm going to go side on so you can see my posture. So arms out. You can do big arm circles. Lovely job. So round two, we will work the other side. Shoulders back, chest out. Keep that core nice and strong. Lovely job, well done. Oh, nearly lost balance there. Three, two, one. I won't edit that out, I promise you. Next exercise we've got, feet just shoulder width apart. Get the arms up here. Going to rotate down, come back, rotate back down the other side. If you don't like that, what you can do is just rotations side to side, just like that. Work the obliques. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Just like that. It's almost like a narrow wood chop. Lovely job. Slight bend of the knees. I'll go side on so you can see that. So a slight little bend of the knees, just like that. Push those hips and bum back. Good. Face towards where you're turning. Keep that core nice and strong, well done. Fantastic stuff, lovely job. Keep it up. Excellent, there we go. If you want to make it harder in the future, you can have a weight in hand. Doesn't need to be heavy. It could be like a one or two kilogram weight, it's inside up to you. Good, three, two, one, perfect. Next exercise we've got is a single side leg rest. So we're going to lift the foot off, harder option. Foot comes back but doesn't touch the ground. If you want to make it easier, foot goes up, foot comes back and touch the ground, reset and go again. Let's get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, slow and controlled. Just like that, so this is the harder option. My foot is coming back down but not touching the ground. Easier option. Foot does come back down, touch the ground, reset, go again. Lovely job, well done. Halfway through round two, we will work the other side. Remember, strong core, posture, nice and upright, slow and controlled. You go too fast, you're gonna fall off off balance. Lovely work, good stuff, nearly there. Five to go, excellent. Three, two, one, super work. Next exercise we've got is a knee up rotation. So we're gonna come here, just hold the hands up like that, bring the knee up, turn to the side, have a slight little pause at the top, rotate just like that. If that's too much, you can just bring a knee up, stop, slowly back down, change over. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, good stuff. Round two, we work the other side. And again, if you wanna make it harder, foot doesn't touch the ground. This will really challenge the balance, but you can bring the foot down to touch the ground to make it a little bit easier, or you can go up and do the knee taps. Face towards where we're rotating, and don't forget we're lifting from the core, so you've got to keep the tummy sucked in. Breathing under control, that's a good stuff. Take your time, 10 seconds to go. Nicely done, good stuff. Five to go, four, three, two, one. Next one is my favorite, it's called Walk the Line. So a little bit of space. So you're gonna just arms out to the side, tread heel to toe. Imagine there's a really thin line. You're going across, tread heel to toe, nice and slow and controlled. Okay, let's go positions, off in four, three, two, one. Good stuff. And of course, when we get to the other side, we're just gonna turn around and come back round. That's it, there we go. Super work, change over. Come back round here. Treading heel to toe. Head facing forwards, take your time, keep it nice and slow and controlled. Strong core as always. Let's go. Nice. So pretend we're on that tightrope, 
Again, cross like they do in the circus. Good, well done. Nearly there. 10 seconds to go. We've got time for one more across to the other side. Core is nice and strong. Tread heel to toe. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Next exercise we've got is a knee to elbow. So you're going to be on knee to elbow. Have a slight little pull, slowly release back down. Making sure we're squeezing those abs together. Make it easier. You can do it nice and low as well. But again, hold that little pause just like that. Okay, let's give it a run off balance again. Let's go. Here we go. Fantastic stuff. That's it. Good stuff. Nicely done. Keep that strong core going. Just like that. There you go. Hold that little pause. Bring it up. Do it nice and low as well. Fantastic work. Back is nice and straight. Breathe it out. Slowly release. Good job. Well done, everyone. Keep that going. 10 seconds to go. Lovely work. Five to go. Four, three, two, one. Excellent stuff. Next one we've got is a wide wood chop. So feet just over shoulder width apart. Have the arms here. Rotate down, rotate back up. Tummy sucked in. If you do want to make this harder, have a small little weight for a bit of resistance. Rotate down, rotate back up. Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like that, good stuff, well done. And again, round two, we will work the other side. Lovely job. Face towards we rotating. Nicely done, good effort. Keep that up, ladies and gentlemen, doing great work. Halfway through. Slow and controlled, good quality reps is what we're looking for each time. Nicely done. Super, 10 seconds to go. Let's get a couple more repetitions in, well done. Five to go, nearly there. Three, two, one. Excellent job. So next exercise we've got is a front leg raise. So we're gonna come up, and tap, slowly release back down. Again, if you want to make it harder, foot doesn't touch the ground. If you want to make it easier, foot touches the ground. It's up to you how far you want to take your leg up. Obviously going up is harder. Let's get ready. Here we go. So the higher you go, the harder it is. That's a good, engage the core. This is a really good one for those core muscles. Lovely. If you can't get the foot all the way up, you can do it nice and low as well. Okay, just like that. And you can make it hard, by keeping the foot off the ground. Lovely job. Just take your time with it, that's all you gotta do. Let's just focus on the core, balance, focus on the abs. Lovely job, well done. 10 seconds to go. <clears throat> Nicely done, good stuff. Three, two, one, excellent. Next exercise we've got is called slams. So pretend we've got a ball, Gonna lift it over and slam down. Core nice and strong, this works, the obliques. Back over and slam down. If it is too much, you can revert back to the rotations just like that, slow and control. Three, two, one, let's go. Just like up and over and slam. Lovely work, good. Just take your time, keep it nice and slow and controlled. Just imagine you've got a ball, you're gonna slam it down, catch it back up and go back over to the other side. Breathe out as you slam. Like that, good, lovely job. Just gone over halfway, keep that going. You're looking good. Super job, 10 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice, good stuff, well done. Nearly there, three, two, one, excellent. So this next exercise is not only gonna work your core, um, and your balance is also going to work your glutes. So hands on the hips, it's called a back leg raise. Just going to take the foot back, just like that, bring it back down. Again, to make it harder, foot doesn't touch the ground. To make it easier, foot does touch the ground. Let's get ready, here we go. Just like that, good stuff. Head facing forwards. Anything with one foot off the ground is going to engage your core muscles and going to work on that balance. That's a good, take your time. That's it, well done. Try and keep that posture nice and upright. It's easy to lean over. Try not to fall in that trap. Just try and keep that posture nice and upright. 
It felt like you're only doing a small movement, but you're still working those muscles. Lovely work, good job, well done. Keep it up, you're doing fantastic. Three, two, one. That's round one completed, we have got one more round to go. So back to the knee up, and we're gonna do some arm circles, make it harder, do big arm circles, make it easier, smaller arm circles, or make it easier, take the foot just off the ground, do the arm circles just like that. Here we go, round two and three. Two, one, let's go. So go into the big arm circles, really help us throw us off a little bit of balance. That's it, but we're controlling it. Love the job. Hopefully round number two, I don't fall off balance like round number one, so hopefully it'll be a better round for me. <laughs> but we'll see, we will see. Lovely job, well done, make it easier, take the foot down. Nicely done, but foot is still off the ground. Let me go side on, show my posture. Well, I try not to hit anything this time. That's it, just like that. Shoulders back, chest out, head up, facing forwards. Engaging those core muscles at all time. Three, two, one, excellent. That one was a success. Excellent job, well done. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Get the arms up, gonna rotate down, slight bend your knees, push up through the legs, come up, rotate down the other side. But if you wanna make it easier, you can go into rotations if you wish. Three, two, one, let's go. Nicely done. And make it harder for the future, you can have a weight in the hand as well. Just only a small resistance between a one to two kilogram, maybe a three kilogram max, making sure you've got the correct posture, the correct form. You're not rushing it, don't wanna cause any injuries. Lovely, let me go side on and show you my posture. Pushing those hips and bump back, push up through the legs, down tall and down the other side we go. Facing towards where we're rotating. 10 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, keep it going, five on the clock. Four, three, two, one, excellent stuff. Next exercise we've got, working the opposite side is the side leg raise. So hands on the hips, gonna take the foot out, back down. If you wanna make it harder again, foot doesn't touch the ground. If you wanna make it easier, foot does touch the ground. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, Let's go. Just like that, slow and controlled. Again, with the posture, you wanna try and keep it nice and upright. It's quite easy to lean over, but we're gonna try and fight that. That's it, just like that. So I feel like you're doing small movements with the leg. That is fine. Just gonna keep that posture in the middle. Good job. Slow and controlled. Tummy sucked in, look forwards. This will help focus on that balance. Good stuff, well done. You're doing a fantastic job. Just gotta keep it going. That's it, good. Five to go, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Next exercise we've got, working the opposite side, what, sorry, working the opposite side, struggle with my speech. It's a knee up rotation, just like that. If you do struggle with that, you can just do knee up to knee taps, just like that. Here we go, up in four, three, Two, one, let's go. Make it harder, foot doesn't touch the ground. Make it easier, foot does touch the ground. Or well, the other alternative is you can do those knee taps. Lovely job. Don't matter if we fall off balance, we all do it. That's why we're here. We're gonna get stronger, we're gonna improve this. Lovely job. So even if you're finding it a struggle, don't worry, if you stay consistent doing this, I promise you, as the time goes on, you're gonna get a lot better at it. You're gonna find it a lot more easier. And I'll say that and I'll start wobbling. 10 seconds to go. There we go, good. I always jinx myself. Four, three, two, one. I need some work on that left-hand side, I really do. Next exercise we've got is walk the line. So heel to toe as we go across. Just imagine walking across a tightrope, facing forwards, take your time nice and slow and controlled. Okay, let's get in position, ladies and gentlemen. Up in four, three, two, one. Just like that. Treading heel to toe, head facing forwards. Lovely work, good. And then we're gonna turn around. Nicely done. Good effort. Strong core as always, head facing forwards. Lovely work, excellent. Turn back around. Halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> 
Keep it going, nice and slow, back in 12. You know, just imagine that line in front of you is really thin. We're gonna balance on it, but we're gonna fall off. We don't wanna fall off. Absolutely not. Three, two, one, and excellent stuff. So next exercise we've got is a nice and slow knee to the elbow. Hold that slight little pause at the top. Don't forget, if you can't get the knee all the way up, you can do it nice and low as well. Engage those core muscles, hold that little pause, and it'll work those abdominals. Here we go, off in three, two, one, let's go. Hold that pause, back is nice and straight. Head up, facing forwards, breathe out as you bring the knee to the elbow. Just like that, good stuff. Well done. Slow, hold that pause, don't forget. Nicely done, good effort. Fantastic work. Halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. Great job, well done. Nicely done. Back is nice and straight. Head facing forwards as always. Good stuff. Less than 10 to go. Couple more reps. Three, two, last one. Excellent. Next exercise we've got is a wide wood chop. So feet just over shoulder width apart. Work in the opposite side. You're gonna hold the hands up here. Rotate down, rotate back up. Tummy sucked in, keep that core nice and strong throughout the exercise. Let's get ready. Four, three, two, one, let's go. And again, a suitable weight for this one, a bit be between a one to five kilograms, whichever one you can handle. Long as you've got that posture, nice and right, core is nice and strong, form is good. Face towards where you're rotating. Keep that going, lovely. So don't forget, we've got to keep that tummy sucking. So suck the tummy in, and you're gonna feel those ab exercises a lot better. Gonna make them effective. 10 seconds to go. Lovely job, well done, nearly there. Three, two, one, excellent. Next exercise we've got is the front leg raise, but working the opposite side. So make it harder, foot goes up, doesn't come back and touch the ground to make it easier. It does touch the ground. If it's too hard, you can just bring the knee up, hold a slight little pause. Here we go, off in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, just like that. Lovely work. So this is the harder option. Good. Feel my right leg wobbling a bit. My left side is never good. <laughs> there we go, good stuff. Make it easier, foot can touch the ground. Set yourself, take your time. Don't forget we're lifting for the core. Tummy sucked in halfway through. That's it, well done. Keep that going. Super work. Okay, we've got 10 seconds to go. Let's get a good couple more repetitions. Good, five to go, good stuff. Make them all count. Three, two, one, excellent stuff. Next exercise we've got is the slam. So up and over and we're gonna slam. Again, tummy sucked in, really focus on that. Good job. Okay, and if you don't like that one, arms out and we can rotate side to side. Nice and slow in control. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Nice and done. So tummy sucked in, strong core. Super work. Keep it up. Slam it down. Up and over and slam. Up and over and slam, that's it, there we go. Slow and controlled. Alternatively, you have the arms at chest level, slowly rotate side to side. Try and get one continuous movement, follow the rotation round with the head. Nice and slowly, nothing rushed. 10 to go. Super work, well done, nearly there. And slam. Three, two, one, excellent job. Last exercise is that back leg raise, work on the opposite side. You're gonna try and keep that posture nice and upright. Okay, you're gonna take the foot back, bring it back. Easier option, foot touches the ground. Harder option, foot doesn't touch the ground. Here we go, last one, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, let's go. Just like that. Keep that core nice and strong. Try and keep the posture nice and upright. I know what you wanna do, is lean forwards, but you've got to fight that. That's it, good. Breathe it out as you push the leg back. Keep that leg nice and straight as well. 
We're gonna finish strong together, ladies and gentlemen. You've done a great job. Well done. Excellent work, keep it up. Good, take your time with it, do not rush it. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. Excellent work, well done, ladies and gentlemen. What a great workout that was. I'm just gonna stop the timer so it doesn't beep at me anymore. And what we're gonna do now is go for a full body cool down stretch standard. I'm gonna start off with the quadriceps. So if you do show a bit of balance, but again, you can work on your balance with this one. If you do struggle, hold on to something solid. But if you want to work on your balance, we're going to take the foot up, keep that core nice and strong, head up facing forwards. Keep the knees together just like that. Maintain balance. That's it, lovely. So stretch out the front of the leg, known as the quadriceps. That's it, good stuff. Well done. Awesome work. You may feel the leg that you balance on, shake a bit, that's okay. Again, that will get better over time. Lovely, let's change over to the other side. So I'm gonna take the left foot up, have the hands out, focus on the balance. This is definitely my worst side. There we go. Tummy is nice and strong as well, posture nice and upright. Got all that. Super lovely work, well done. Try and keep the knees together if you can. Super, let's release that. Now we stretch on the back of the legs and there's the hamstring. Both feet together, left foot goes out nice and straight. Right leg is slightly bent, place the hands on top of the bent leg going to push those hips and bum back. Now with the straight leg, completely optional. You can take the toes off the ground if you wish. Feels that stretch a little bit more. Shoulders back, chest up, head facing down. It's that posture. And if you do struggle with this stretch, get yourself in front of the mirror. This is how I learned it. Because when I first come across this, Always like this, which is absolutely no good whatsoever. But my teacher said, no, just remember, push those hips and bum back. Feel that player. And just gonna go there, hold that position, get yourself in front of the mirror, because the more times you do it, you can do it without thinking. You just do it based off feel. Change over to the other side, here we go. <coughs> Toes off the ground. Love the job for that stretch in the back of the leg there. So work on flexibility. Super work, let's release that. Over to upper body stretches. Bring the arm across the chest and the other arm up through just like that. If you're doing another position, alternatively, arm over gently, put across. Head up, face and forwards. That's it, and if you want to, you can do a little bit of walking on the spot. I don't like to stand still while I'm doing stretches. I'm too fidgety, I can't do it. So I'd have to walk forwards and backwards or do a little walk on the spot. I can't stand still. <laughs> That's it, there we go. Lovely job, let's change over to the other side. Arm over gently, put across. Excellent stuff. Nicely done. For the stretch, going through the shoulder. As we're stretching out those deltoids. Excellent, release that. Now we'll do the back of the arm, then it's a tricep. So I'm just going to turn around, bear with me, take the arm up, down between the blades. Spin back, plant to the other arm and gently put it across. Again, it's absolutely safe to do so if you want to march on the spot or have a little walk on the spot. It's entirely up to you. We can even go for a walk around your room if you like to. As long as you can still hear my instructions and you're doing the, you're doing the stretches right, that's absolutely fine to do. Good, change over to the other side. For the stretch in the back of the arm. Nicely done, good stuff. <coughs> Super work. Excellent, let's release that. Now we're going to some upper back stretches. Put the hands up at head height, interlocking the fingers, elbows are bent. Head looking down the ground. Keep that posture nice and upright, keep a nice strong core. Feet roughly shoulder width apart. But if you want to, you're more than welcome to walk with this one. It's entirely up to you. Super job, excellent. Let's take the arms on the back. Lift up the arms, push up the chest. Head up, face and forwards, good job. This is stretching out the pectoral muscles. If you want to feel that stretch a bit more, you lift those arms back. Lovely, but so is, make sure it's not too uncomfortable, sorry. There we go. Nicely done. Push that chest up, there we go. Excellent, well done ladies and gentlemen, fantastic. Let's bring it to the middle. Now we do some neck stretches. Nice and slow and controlled. Tilt the head to the side. Two fingers and a nice little light hold for the stretch inside of the neck. Posture nice and upright, again, a nice strong core. 
Excellent work, well done. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Change over to the other side. Nice and light with the pressure on the head for the stretch on the side of the neck. Lovely work, well done. Excellent stuff, fantastic. Now we're gonna finish off with some nods up and down, but nice and slow and controlled. We are gonna go chin up, chin down. Nice and slow and controlled, just like that. Good stuff, excellent. Let's take it off to the sides again, nice and slow and controlled. Super job, and let's bring it back to the middle. Well done for completing that standard abs and balance workout. I really hope you enjoyed that. Again, let me know how you got on just down in the comments down below. Good or bad, I'll answer to every comment. And the next workout coming up tomorrow is going to be the upper body workout with weights. But don't forget, if you don't have weights, grab yourselves two water bottles that are identical, and that will be absolutely fine to use. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it's absolutely free of charge. You pay no money whatsoever. And hit that bell notification that says all, oh, because every time I upload, you will get a notification. Thank you so much for joining in today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a fantastic day. Most importantly, stay healthy, stay positive, and be kind to one another. Take care, bye-bye.